Drake and Kendrick Lamar are ready for round two, but we got Drake on Instagram making duck lips looking like Zoolander. There is some copyright infringement on the Blue Steel look, and just calling it duck face doesn't change the fact yeah. that it's Blue Steel. Brother, gotta get rid of the duck lips. I don't even know why he does it. So Usher, I hate see them being cloned, or this is a fake Usher. Cloud Babies, we're not buying it. Yeah. Body double-ish after the money we paid to go see you. That's not Usher. And we got Troy Avis out of jail. Tax Stone still in jail. It's <laughs> crazy. See, I am a dude that can let me go home tomorrow and I will smack your teeth down your mouth as soon as you say something. It sounds crazy when you're talking extremely tough from a jail cell. It just doesn't hit no Chris Brown out here ruining weddings and relationships and baby mama dramas. The day when I give up all my dreams on Chris Brown. <laughs> Cloud Babies, Elevation Nation, we're all gonna talk about Gotta it. Gotta address it. Let's go. What's up this week? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get with the one, two, three. We're gonna pay some bills, Cloud Babies, all right? We'll be back. Thanks to Epidemic Sound, you get a seven day free trial. You like free things, you get a free trial with over 40,000 tracks, 90,000 sound effects that we use personally on the show. No copyright claim. No That's copyright. That's the main important thing. You don't have to worry about anything. Once you start choosing some sounds, you get personalized recommendations. Everything comes to you. You have unlimited downloads to choose from. You could be like us and have the show popping. Make sure you sign up. Go check it out. You have a seven-day free trial. That's if you don't it. like it, you could always cancel. And guys, go have fun. All right, let's get back to the show. The Drake just recently announced that he's going for a round two against Kendrick. But let me let you in on a secret. The first round was never over for Drake. You see, he's still releasing songs dissing Kendrick. Why? Because Drake had a problem. The only way for him to regain his superstardom is to make good music. Now, why is that a problem? I'm gonna tell you, just listen. Well, after the world stops liking a musician, they fall down to what I like to call the second chance zone. If they make a good song or a good album, they'll become tolerated again. But if they don't, they'll fall to the heat trash zone. I know some of y'all think that, oh no, he's loading up another diss track. Listen, if one thing Drake learned from, from this whole thing, never give your op the biggest moment of his career. My boy Drake out here. It's your boy. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> the boy. He's here talking about round two, Cloud Babies. I am kind of over this beef. Now, Drake been releasing song ever since it's not like us been hitting, right? Been hitting. That yeah. hit all, everything that could but be hit. Nothing hit. is really sticking. Right, Y'all put it in the front page, back page, middle page, wherever. Headliners, column one or two, we will win game two. Back it off. We will win game two. Game two. Trust me. We will win. Hey, we will hey, win. you think Drake gonna bring any artists to, the, the help in? Throw a couple punches? Wait, what? Y'all think Drake need help? I ain't saying he help, but hold on, hold on, hold on. It was in this battle. You gotta think about it. In this, this battle, it really who, wasn't wait, just well, Drake. No, Kendrick, fuck that. Drake, in this, hold on, let me ask the question first. In this battle, who has needed other people on their side? Who did a concert Metro. with 300 people coming out dancing? Do I, do I think it's a good idea? Is that what you're asking me right now? Yeah. Hell no, it's not a good idea. I mean, Richard Wallace ended up winning. Beating Kobe. That's only because we found out that the you know what I mean? <laughs> Gary, Gary Payton was on that team. Moses Malone was, was on that team. Stacked, okay. All right. But so the egos, that's what Drake is talking about. But it ain't happening like that. It's not the Detroit. This ain't this ain't no Bad Boys era Detroit. This ain't no Rashad Rashid Wallace uh, Ben Wallace era. This ain't nothing like that. This ain't the Wallace era. So this dude hit us with the duck face, looking like Zoolander. What is he doing? We're ready. That, if that's that the wall ready face watch me just um it's really just a natural thing that i was born with i'm not really sure what people are referring to when they say like i do a thing like with my lip there is some copyright infringement on the blue steel look and just calling it duck face doesn't change the fact yeah. that it's blue steel he goes he said he's, he goes i've been cursed with this mirror selfie face from birth and then he put up joe budden and Duke Dennis <laughs> as comparisons to him and then put himself up son, next. What is Joe Button doing with that picture though, son? First of all, Joe. First of all, Joe. <laughs> why you got one finger up like this? That's old school. Why, son. But why you crouch down at the beach? You ain't even on the you ain't on the sidewalk. You're on the ocean sand 
and you're crouched down in board shorts doing this. If you're gonna do it, I don't wanna hear you say we're gonna win game two. I don't wanna hear you promo shit to act. I just want you in your cave with your team and 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 do it. I agree with that. Now, Joe Budden's doing good right now. He's doing pretty well. Yeah, we can't hate on Joe Budden right not, now. Man, pump it up. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Drake needs to do a remix of Pump It Up. That's yeah. what he needs to do. No, no, no. That would be good. That's the move. That would be good. That's the move. But Drake is not hitting right now. It's talking about round two. Yeah. Going at Kendrick is not a, a smart idea. You know what I mean? Because Not Like Us broke all sorts of records. So his next song have to be Bro. Beat That. Drake's been pulling, putting out feeler songs. Mm -hmm. He's been putting out little bits and little bits of you know snippets. You know, little unreleased, maybe not official releases, but for free, putting up on YouTube and, you know, letting it circulate just to test the waters. Now, here's where it starts to get wicked. Since Not Like Us has been released, Drake has dropped a total of around 14 songs with the likes of Lotto, 21 Savage, Camila Cabello, Playboy Cardi, and you probably haven't heard the song. Do you understand what I'm saying? When Drake drops a song, everyone listened. He dropped 14, no one listened. So on to plan B. He makes a post showing Rasheed Wallace, former Detroit Pistons player, saying, we going for round two, baby, we finna win. But there's more to it than that. After Rasheed said this, not only did they win the next game, they won the championship. When everyone thought Detroit was gonna lose against the stacked Lakers, boy, I was hot. But I digress. So Drake is basically saying he's the underdog and he's gonna come back and win. Also, Kendrick is from Los Angeles, you know, it makes sense. And what better way to get people to listen to his songs than saying, hey, I'm finna start round two against Kendrick. But here's where Drake messed up. What he doesn't understand is, this isn't a rap battle. Are you playing Not Like Us anymore? No. But it's everywhere. I don't need to play it. It's still everywhere. Dude. I think it's overplayed now. It's been overplayed. It's been overplayed. <laughs> what are you talking it's, about? That's what I'm saying, though. That's yes. what I'm saying. So. But it's like the whole industry really hated this guy, son. Oh, no, nah, man. All you just think is just that great of a song that the impact, the uh, hip, that just changed hip hop right here. Well, it was the build up. It was the songs leading up to that song. It was the whole thing. It was all the variables it's that a came together. It was a storm of hip hop. The perfect storm. Yeah. It was the perfect hurricane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To it's take gonna out be the written Canadian. about like in a yeah, hundred, two hundred years from now. Yeah, bro. Kendrick yeah, was like Moses. He came in, he came through <laughs> with the Ten Commandments. He came through with the with the plagues for the hip hop beef. Drake was like the, the Pharaoh. Canada. He's like, you know what? And and Kendrick Lamar came up to Drake and was like, "Let my hip hop people go." That's true. And damn. Really, he, he he released the whole the, the the like I said, son. Drake could come back, son. He could. He could. He needs what? Right, he needs work. I think Kendrick really don't like this nigga. So it's, 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 this is beyond yeah. just you know. Yeah, I just don't like you. So yeah, any, you, like you know the one nigga you just don't like, nigga. The second you say something, I'm on your ass just solely because I don't like you. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I get from him. It's just like, bro, I did. Go ahead, you want to do it again? We can do it again. He needs a hit. Yeah, there's no question. Immediately. You need a hit, but how do you get a hit when you're not in favor? When people aren't looking for your stuff. They will out of curiosity, but they're mm. not looking to like your stuff. They're looking yeah. to hate yeah, in yeah, a general true. way, right? You so think you that do? much people hate him that they won't, they're, they're just going to say he's corny now? Like, Bro, it's just, the, it's now it's a meme thing. We talked about you. Yeah, he yeah. Made, Kendrick made Drake a meme. Yeah. So now it doesn't even matter if they actually feel that way. It's like hating Nickelback. Remember hating Nickelback? That you know is what true, Do you know what son. I mean? Even though Nickelback low-key don't hate, they have some good-ass songs. They have some good-ass songs. And they're, but they're good, talented yeah, musicians. That's true, yeah. But it became a meme, and it became a thing that everyone just hated Nickelback. You couldn't yeah. even admit to liking Nickelback. I have to be a closeted Nickelback fan. Yeah, I understand. You know what I'm saying? I understand, so yeah. It might, be, it might be Drake on that, unless he does something drastic. Ooh, what a great analogy. So oh. if that, that could happen. Son. I know. But he's been in the game for over like 15 years, dog. So is Nickelback. <laughs> no, I think you only took him about like seven years, if not yeah. six years, yeah. for everybody to really hate on these. Yeah, and they cats. came from a church music. They were in, they were a church yeah. band before but that. Hey, so people are saying, actually, Aubrey, Drake, Degrassi, yeah, come on, come yeah, on, yeah, dude, come on, man, dude. The star is written. There's nothing new under the sun. Damn, maybe Chad from uh, Nickelback was also Jewish. Who knows? Hey, just saying, it's it small be. hats, man. Dude, small dude. hats. We're going to jail. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> they're good, they're good, they're good. Those are my guys. I mean, hey, man. No disrespect. I got a percentage right? somewhere. Come on. So, um, yeah, I don't know, Trey. Not with the duck lip, though. You don't. Oh, why? Oh. So, what's going on? What, what is going on, man? Never... Explain this to me, bro. Okay. I'll try. I'll do my best. Okay. That's a girl. That's too girly, man. Painting the nails, 100%. duck lips. I mean, 100%. I don't know. Son. 100%. This is not the time, Drake, where you can pull off rock star shit. 
Because right now your rock star privileges have been revoked, Drake. You can't pull off the the nails and the and the you know having a love heart love heart cut out in your hair and, and doing all the 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 zesty stuff because you you're a rock star and you can get away with it. For dress. Can't come. You can't get away with the it game. anymore. That that would son. If you want to break the sensitivity and showing you that level, maybe that's his next move, son. Bro, that'll complete the conspiracy for me. Wear a dress. Drop a song. It will be corny, but it still blow up. That's what's gonna happen that's next. A terrible son. idea. Dude. I that's mean, the worst. That's the terrible. Duck lips, <laughs> son. Dog, you don't finger even tell him to get him a fi- dress. Fi- fingernails painted. Yeah, right. Yeah. He What's next? In his, in his, in his What's next? Yeah. Come on, man. You yeah. see, you see, Buster wearing a freaking dress. Buster, Buster. Out of nowhere, Buster been busted. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what you're talking about. That's what I'm saying, no, son. No, okay. That would be his next step. No, it's not. Maybe. Okay, <laughs> maybe that's the. Maybe if that's you cannot make a hit, <laughs> watch. Okay, you think I'm lying. The dress thing is tough, but he does need to change it up. You got to do something drastic. He's going to say Balenciaga. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's going to hit you with that Balenciaga, that Gaga Gaga. Have you, everybody like, oh, did you see what Drake wore? So in the song, is going to go gazillion, billion view stream. That music video will go nuts. This man finna sit here and say, Kendrick Lamar told me to go see a therapist. But joke's on him. She quit on me because I won't let the Kendrick thing go. And I keep talking about women. This man said it as a flex. So what you can expect now is for Drake to release a super long album with a bunch of hits. And he might find one or two, but I don't think he's going to reach the same levels of stardoms he once had. I think, I think it's going to be a case of Drake is slowly going to amass the Avengers. Slowly. He's slowly going to poach a few different artists, bring them back into the fold. Whether it be Travis, whether it be, you know, he's already got, he already got Lil Yachty Yo, got to come back. All right. We got to find him. Okay, we gotta make apologize, Drake. We gotta apologize to Yachty. He's the only one that stuck by you through the through the thick and thin. All right, everyone else left. Everyone else jumped ship. They got off the bus. They said, "Stop the bus. I'm getting out here." As soon as that song came out, you know, and then jumped on stage with Kendrick. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. That's literally what happened. Yeah. So he's got to get some new friends, make some new songs, put out an album exactly at the same time as Kendrick. Otherwise, actually, no, no, that's exactly a bad, the same, the same time as Kendrick, same time, bro. that's a bad idea. Same time. That's a bad idea. Same time. Because then you ride the wave of Kendrick's album too. Yeah. Out this body double-ish after the money we paid to go see you, sir, we're going to fight. We will fight. Hometown hero or not, you about to get these hands if you try to pull this on us. That was not Usher performing. That is not Usher. What is going on with Usher Cloud Babies? He's got another person up there on stage doing his work. Not the same voice, could barely dance, but hey, we, we, we pretend like we didn't see that. Allegedly. Pretend, Allegedly. They clone him, son. That's, that's all it is. That's a bad clone. That's, that's, a, ten, that's a Timu clone right there. <laughs> that ain't even a good good brand. Hit up with a Timu clone? Yo. Son, that's wild, son. Yo, the, the, Usher out here with a Timu clone? Bro, they grew to, uh, that, that, that lab was all messed up. They all messed have, up, They didn't have son. no proper electricity, no ventilation. What? That came out topsy turvy. That's how you try to make this. This is yo, a two K player, nigga. <laughs> yo, they, they made a two K player clone. Bro, yo. So this thing is only sixty five percent. He's not fully. <laughs> <laughs> He's not loaded yet. The screen not hasn't loaded, loaded yet. That's <laughs> like, I think it's not fully built, son. Bro, the concert dance goes. five. <laughs> Look eight. <laughs> you still gotta like, build them up. You gotta you train them. You gotta build them up. You gotta son. build them up. Voice zero. You need like, skill what points. Are you doing? Why is Usher doing this? Allegedly, he got hurt, right? Is that the thing? So he's sending buddy doubles out there? Would you? Yeah. I would. I'll be, okay, now we'll answer that question, but I'll answer the first one. What is he doing out there? Now, allegedly, like you're saying, he just finished the Vegas tour, like uh, the Vegas, uh, you know, residency. So mm-hmm. he's been at Vegas doing those shows and, you know, famously, you know, with all the breaking up these relationships, <laughs> like, you know, but then now he's, Doing like after he finished that, I guess this is one of the first, you know, touring mm-hmm. away from Vegas, and uh, does not look like the real Usher. Because first of all, why are you wearing sunglasses like that and a, and a baseball cap all the way down when you know you like to have those eyes looking creepily at all you <laughs> all the ladies out there in the audience? That's true. He got you know that vampire mean? vibe yeah. about him. Hey, he got that. Like that, that death stare. He looking at him <laughs> like looking him right in there into the soul of the depths of the souls. You know what I mean? Like. He's looking at all their secrets. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's like, it. Usher looks like it's he's made everything. a deal. Yeah, Usher looked like he made a deal. 
And he, he, no, <laughs> he, he made he, a deal. Like Ghost Rider. He made a deal with the devil. Cause, yeah, I cause know. I swear, he came out in that red uh, red fur coat. Yeah. That's demonology right there. I don't, I Gliding you know. too. He didn't even walk. That nigga just glide to you like Bro, Count float. Dracula. <laughs> like this. Wild, son. Got smoke on the bottom. But like that body that. double couldn't do that. That's how we knew it wasn't him. Exactly. The body <laughs> double. <laughs> <Dude. not even laughs> Bro, yes. The body double came out looking like 2000s. Also. Yeah. <laughs> 2000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Before my way, nigga. Before he got into <laughs> yeah. like Yeah 3X and all that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 8701, all of that. So you just Bro, like, yeah. No. I'm uh-uh. telling you. That's not the right Usher. I'm not buying that one. No, nah, dude. I want my money back. What kind of t-shirt was that Usher wearing? Because Usher's fashion is way above that now. Mm. What are we doing? So I should think he his moves are all off. Set. He wasn't even matching with his backup dancers. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> he didn't really want to speak. Yeah, it was brilliant. So Cloud Babies, I enjoyed it. That ain't Usher. That's Busher. So right um, not only that, mm. a lot of people are saying he's scamming. Apparently, he's throwing like fake hundred dollar bills in oh. the strip club with his face on it, homie. There's layers to this. First of all, <laughs> first of all, if you're not shooting a music video and you're in a strip club, don't ever use fake money. I don't even go to strip clubs, and I know that's the rule. That's a crime. <laughs> like, I know that's the rule. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like you get free, you get free entertainment at that point. Yeah. And not only that, you had the audacity to not use like counterfeit bills, but use your own bills. So they, so they know who it is. Yeah. They know who put this money here. <laughs> <laughs> it was you. <laughs> they got his face on it. <laughs> Like, find the culprit. It's yeah, right man. there. Law and Order would have had fun in that episode, son. Bro, he said confessions. He said, the confession is in the note. <laughs> this is my confessions. I put my face on the money. <laughs> now, this is the photo that was posted that got Usher exposed. So, this post says, my girlfriend posted this. I've never seen this level of effery. Exactly why we stay away from celebrities most of the time. They suck cheap as F. So disrespectful. This is foul. Working so hard to get nothing in return. This is a joke. So he's wilding, son. He is. He's yeah, out of no, control. No. He's out of control. Son. He did make a deal. He must be stopped. Son. I told you, you made a deal. He must be stopped. This is the <laughs> allegation table cloud, baby. It he is. Allegations stopped, get yo. tapped on this. Son, he glided to the t- women's right. Yes. They stare in their eyes and they hypnotize, bro. But it's like a weird it's stare. So rap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah, a, yeah, yeah. It's like he don't have anything behind those eyes, mm-hmm. and he's a predator. Allegedly. You can't say that. But, yeah, but, but no, like I'm talking about that's the animalistic. Yeah, I'm not talking yeah, about like, yeah. you know. That people will uh, yeah, down people, like, people, people conflating that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I'm talking about like, you so know, careful. like yeah, a lion. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sued, predator. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like an eagle eye. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, man. First of all, maybe he's been, he has been cloning himself, but he keeps prime clone doing the real work and then B clones doing the side hustles. Yeah, that's right. Well, yeah. Akon did that with his brother. He was performing two spot at once. Akon got a whole fake city. So I don't know what you're talking about. He got a whole. Facts, you got a whole fake city, so yeah, there's a lot of Dr. Uber allegedly, man. It's a lot of optics. He's fake schools it's a lot of all optics. that stuff is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so um, Troy Ive out here, yeah. he's back, baby. Hey, yo, your body's dead. Uh, your body's dead. Oh, man. Yo, we out. I want to go straight to the airport. Straight out of jail, you feel me? Yo. I know Tax Stone is behind bars, just hating. He's been hating for a couple of weeks. He went crazy at Flacco, crazy at um DJ um Academics, of course. talking all sorts of craziness. I see Mr. Tax Stone been very bored, been trying to, yo, my my boy. You see, you the little nigga in media, you know what I mean? Um, I'm what you, I'm what you when you about to go to sleep next to your bunkie. I'm what you tell him you could have been. I could have been. I could. I could have been as big as that. I could have been a success. Shut your stupid ass up, nigga. Damn. Of course he's mad though. But Troy Ave is out. Troy Ave. We didn't. We were. We were. We we covered Troy Ave when he started doing the music videos, and then eventually we didn't even cover the fact they went went to jail. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then now he's out, and we're like, damn, we didn't son, even know you went been in. Like damn near a year now, son. That's damn. how time flies. Yeah, yeah it's a crazy. year. Mm-hmm. And, and tax come stone. out a million dollars, limbo. That girl is ready for him. Yup. I mean, son, brilliant. I'd be mad if I was Tax Stone too, because that's your enemy. <laughs> your and, biggest enemy. And, biggest op. Yeah, your biggest op is living. Mm-hmm. Back to living. Yeah. And then he's there for like a good 30 years. Oh, my God. 35 years. Something like that. It's crazy. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah, bro. sir. That's a different kind of hate. 
Oh, can you imagine? It's lifetime. Well, hey. he started this the whole craziness though. He's doing that pulled a gun and shot the <laughs> he shot Troy Av and the, and, and, and the killed security. the security yeah. dude. Yeah. So the only reason I, I I'm blind in the eye just as I said because the gun was so close and the residue or whatever the the, the shit burnt my so wait, So someone put a, a gun to your head? Nah, I slapped the dude. Like the dude was like. Me and I used to bully him. That's why I always tell people like, don't bully people, because I a dude that I bullied shot me. You know what I mean? Bro, this is what look. Let this be a lesson. For tax don't be in Hayden. Don't ever, don't ever try and and, and be like the bigger guy Son, in a you still club have beef. A podcast in jail. Yes, sir. You have a podcast in jail. That's how he's still talking. And he really does. <laughs> Bro, that's more impressive than uh, uh, Tory Lanez doing music from jail. <laughs> no. Yeah, you fuck you, who's up? Y'all done for building the city, nigga. Now, you got your gun pick away from you, Tyson. You're not a fuck out of your bill. Think about it. All right, yeah. Cool. yeah, things like that could happen if you do that thing to people. See, because if you keep slapping people, you keep playing in traffic, you can get hit by a car. That's what happens when you play in the street, Flacco. See, now, Flacco, the reason why I love you and I think you're beautifully entertaining is because you have a very brave mouth. But I don't think you have a spine to back it up. This is guy is doing a whole podcast. How he got the setup? He got the setup. So he through got the, the setup, so through the phone. Through the phone. Through the phone. <laughs> Damn, dude. This is crazy. Yo, that's a... Son. They gotta be... There's got to be some laws that come in now because isn't it with jail, you, they got to so make you the, work I for guess, the state? Aren't you working for the state technically? Yeah, so the state technically will have to get the money. Are you making money? money? Yeah. Son. So, don't they get a cut? Do they jail get a cut? is all about making money. That's what I'm saying. Do they get a yeah. cut? Of course they will have they to. They will have to, right? If it's out like that, if it, suppose it blow up. Imagine Joe Rogan in jail. <laughs> Joe Rogan decided to be like, yo, I'm going to have a podcast. Best believe this thing is going to have a podcast. And the jail is going to be like, of course, homie, let's go. Yeah, right. But they'll definitely get a cut because he's working for the state now. He's a slave. That's what jail Damn. is. They getting like sent on the hour. Bro, you were putting out ideas. They might do that just to have uh, uh, Kamala Harris on the podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they might just do that just Son, to get it Trump going. Trump go to jail. He had decided to talk in jail, have a podcast. That would be lit. Yeah, true. Trump would be making phone calls to everybody out of jail. Yeah, I hate on this one. Yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah, it would be, would be yeah, wild. You're right. you're right. Yeah. So, you know, Tax Stone, at least he's trying to make money and doing something. So kudos to him. But that podcast is going to sound very salty for the next few weeks because... Troy Ave is out there free. <laughs> like, yeah. You're a free man now. So can't wait to see what Troy Ave say about the whole experience. Hang with a whole bunch of informants, bro. You hang with people who call the police all day. You're gonna call the police. No, you should not think you're gonna talk like that. See, I am a dude. They can let me go home tomorrow and I will smack their fucking teeth down your mouth as soon as you say something. It sounds crazy when you're talking extremely tough from a jail cell. It just doesn't hit no more. This is the most attention I'll give you. So I try to give you a little bit of grace, but I could tell you're very disgruntled with where you are. That has nothing to do with me, my coverage, or anything else. <laughs> So, um, Chris Brown out here, ruining weddings. Well, 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 we finally made it to the day. The day when I give up all my dreams on Chris Brown. <laughs> Yo, wedding is done, son. Yo, yo, I don't care if you're a super fan. I, I don't care. You put the Chris Brown meet and greet of him holding you by the waist and almost kissing you in front of your wedding post. The with first one. This is how she yeah, started like, the convo. The, the, I the could've, first son, that's a diss to the men. Or, that's two diss. That's like that's more than the Kendrick Lamar hit right there. So Bro, that's bodies. She's right like, there. this is what I could have have. You know what I mean to the boy, to the husband, but mm -hmm. I'm deciding to be with you. But if you mess up, Let's I'll pay that fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> to go see Chris Brown. All right, <laughs> that's a warning shot. First of all, I mean, she's never. She never could, right? That's delusional. In her mind, yes. In her mind, this is what's crazy about this situation. In her mind, she thinks she could have got Chris Brown. Mm. And even at the wedding, on her very own speech to her husband that she's about to spend the rest of her life with and, and care in sickness and in health, she looked at him and said, I'm going to have to give up my dreams dreams of Chris Brown, dog, right there. You saw this man's face go. Down, he looked down and, and chuckled in the most awkward way. Everyone else laughing, all his, all her girlfriends. Everybody ha -ha was laughing. Oh son. my god, bro! I was let's just say I called off my engagement to come see you. <laughs> That's crazy. This guy broke up with his girl. You called his girl up on stage. 
and gave the lady a lap, gave, gave the young lady a lap dance, and, and he broke up with her. Bro, how you do that? Man, see, it wasn't intentional. But what do you think was gonna happen? See, I didn't know she had a had a had a had a guy. Oh my god! <coughs> never ever, never ever, and that's the reality of today's dating world, though, huh? Mm. It's like the it's option. The meme is the this like son. This rapper, right, named Kwani, he's from Philly. So he was on the phone with some Chicago dudes online. And um, people was, like, harassing him, saying, like, oh, you copping, please, and all this stuff. So he was rebuttaling it. He was like, I mean, I wasn't copping no plea or anything like that. So he was going hard at anybody that was doubting him. So Fatboy SSC got under the comments and put in a freaking laughing emoji. So Kwani got back to the comments and was like, I fucked your baby mom. Why are you laughing? I actually did. I did whatever I wanted to do to her. Okay, so basically you're saying that, you know, that boy SSC, he's married. So that's not even his baby mom. That's his wife. Now, granted, they're not together right now. They're kind of separated. But still, it is what it is. So fat boy get on Instagram and say, niggas be happy they fucked a eater. You don't get no points, okay? Now, here's the thing. Bruv, if me and a nigga online going back and forth, please, you got to hope. You hope that you have some woman with self-respect. <laughs> like some woman who would like, you know, we'll, we'll just be like, yo, I'm not going to add to the embarrassment. You know what Fatboy SSC's wife? And by the way, they got like two or three kids together. You know what she got online and said? Look at this shit, chat. She says, y'all not keeping it, P. I'm dis this is me, Moms, everybody. Say, I'm disappointed all of y'all, honestly. Real quick, did anything to me. Laughing my ass off. Baby boy, that one minute, just shut the fuck up for real. Go back, get in the booth, boy. Oh, my God. Women are so out of touch. The whole point is that he fucked. <laughs> Yo, she's talking about, oh, he only lasts a minute. So what? <laughs> <laughs> no. I swear to God. Yeah, no, we got some delusional girls out here, yo. Son. Yeah, I heard the same thing. Their similar brain thi is wild, son. Similar, there's like, they move the goal. There's a lot of goalposts being moved here when mm -hmm. it comes to whether you actually got hit or not or smash you or not because like you had this other girl talking about how not about lasting so long but yo this was crazy if we find this i hope we have it to play for the audience but this was crazy you know the street interviews where you interview couples and you know they ask some questions Dude, they asked this girl a question and basically said did you cheat and then it came out that yeah kind she says not really so what happened oh it didn't fit <laughs> bro and the the boyfriend standing to the left the interviewer said and the boyfriend said what and the interviewer said you don't want to even hear that dog <laughs> but he, he didn't do it i didn't do it he tried to but we didn't do nothing oh you gave him head he started to but we stopped you started to but you stopped i started to but i stopped so like, okay, I ain't gonna lie. We got security right there. Which I mean, like, you don't, ain't nothing crazy gonna happen. Like, did you do it or did you not? Cause he seems pretty like bad about it. Oh, hold on, hold on. Be honest with you. You gave him head. I already told you. No, I want you to say it. Be clear. If you keep it hanging with me, you ain't even gonna trip on nothing. Those damn kids. Huh? I don't. You don't even want to hear what she just said. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I was like, no, he does not. You better run. And then he found out what it was. And she oh, said, yeah, it didn't man. fit. And then apparently if it didn't fit, it didn't count. It didn't count. Hilarious. Yeah, man. If you were a rubber, it didn't count. They all... <laughs> if you were a rubber, it didn't count. It's funny. That's a funny Son, it, That's a they funny. have all sorts of rules and regulations to this cheating shit. Oh, no. I messed up my two-year celib celibacy for three minutes. It don't count. It don't count, girl. Three minutes. Anything under three minutes don't count. And if you use a condom, it really don't count. You good. You know what I mean? That's, there's, there's, uh, and you know what? There's a trust thing that's being broken among all women and men. Because it, go, it goes both ways, right? Yeah, but it's, it's more common for women, believe it or not. Statistically, women cheat more than men. Well, but yeah. it's because of the the stigma of like men's always cheating shit like that. That's how it happens. But now like, I might push back. I might put back push back on that. I think statistics. Men are built. It's not my facts. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> I mean, shit. I'm gonna push back on the statistics. So I'm like, okay, men definitely. I don't know. Nowadays it might be tough, but men definitely have a I, from throughout history. We've been conquerors, bro. That's what that's in our DNA. But I think the percentage of, of like, you know, there was a, women were much more faithful back in the day. It's yeah, turned. Yeah, it's yeah, it's yeah, now yeah. turned. The yeah. like 
it's turned in the last 10 years. Even maybe drastically, less. Yeah, drastically, yeah, drastically, yeah. The standards that women hold for themselves. But is it because of the internet, though? It is the Amber Rose. Everybody want to be, yeah. No, the Amber is, Rose effect. This is the like when we normalize sexuality for women, which is great, right? Which is there was a lot of positives that came out of women having more like reproductive rights. Came out of like the you know no more slut shame and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, women should be able to go and have sex and have fun and do all that kind of stuff. They should be able to do that, but it also went really far to the other side where you had the sexy reds now, right? You have the, it became cool to be a hoe, which was never the case before, bro. Never. Mm. Now it is. It's cool to be a hoe. Like uh, Dr. Umar, Dr. Umar didn't say that, but, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm trying saying, to think if like, sexy if Little Red, Kim, if, if Little Kim would yeah. do like that, but she wasn't that but extra. Dude, like there that, wasn't right? a movement yeah. that went with Little Kim. Little yeah, Kim. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, was some true, girls true, true. and there was a bit of, yeah, she's fun and we, you do, yeah, we do that yeah, now, yeah. but it was still under wraps. You never heard about it. It wasn't yeah, publicized. Sure. You never had Lil' Kim followers being like, yeah. I'm a hoe too. Yeah, well, City Girls, that's what introduced all the that ho too. Hey hoes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like, it's become a, it's become a thing. And that, that lent itself to the options thing of like, I'm going to trade up, find new men's. I'm never, I don't need a man kind of situation, which is fair enough if you yeah. want to do that. But don't get married and then have Chris Brown be your number one choice and admit it freely when, girl, you, there was never a choice with Chris. The guys need to start doing that too. You had to be Blasian if you nah, want a chance. If you want a chance with start, Chris Brown, you got to be Blasian. We need to start doing that too, son. Put, put ourselves right next to a bad bitch and be like, put it right and be like, this is what I could have got. <laughs> I decided to settle with your dumb ass. Annoying me every night. Son, she's crazy. So she put a whole Facebook memory, son, son, on a wedding. That's craziness. Like, yo, this is it. You staying with her? Oh, that's no, 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 that's immediately right there. I would have reneged on that ring. You I swear reneged? it was like, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, I would have grabbed that mic from my hand. Snatch, pop, give that to me. Right? <laughs> Get that to me right now. Technically, I haven't signed that paper yet. Once you sign that paper, that's when you're married. I don't care if I married. signed it. I don't care if I You know, after it. the wedding, you have to yeah, sign yeah, yeah. that. No, 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 no. That's a fake paper. Right you could there. always renege until that time. So. I would say that's a body double. I say that's <laughs> my body double. <laughs> that's that was not me. <laughs> that was not me. That was Sasha. <laughs> you know what I mean? That du body double ASAP, son. Exactly. Yeah, I feel you. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how no. you gotta do it. I'm with it. <laughs> That's wild, son. This is where we at the internet, son. Hundred percent. And you got other people trying to follow the same thing. You know, I think I saw you know Quavo or something like that doing meet and greets with home girls like that. Everyone's doing Chris Brown meet and greets now. That's it's it. part of the package. It's part of the package. Chris Brown changed the meet and greet game. He definitely did. Bro, He's you a got, wild boy. You got to start giving Chris Brown more flowers, man. Of course. Poor guy. Man. He's been Setting in the trends too. out here. Yeah. Man. Low key. Yeah, that's the guy, man.